Hi, my name is Janet Wright, and I am a professional energy healer and reader. And in this video series, I will be talking about how to have stronger energy boundaries. So what does it mean to have strong energy boundaries? Basically, a boundary, you know, is a line between you and somebody else, right? In general, in like regular speak. So in psychic speak, <laughs> having strong energy boundaries means that you, uh, you as a spirit, you as a human being spirit, uh, you as an eternal spirit, uh, that you are unique, that you have unique life force, okay? So there's energy that is just yours, okay? Uh, and that if you have strong energy boundaries, you maintain your energy within your space. In other words, you maintain your energy within your aura, which is the energy field in and around your body. And your aura is also used to refer to the energy field in and around your spirit. Okay? So basically, you are you, you know, consistently every day. You know, and you're not like a soup of everybody else's energies and their needs and their wants and their expectations and their drama and their emotional pain. Okay, so that what I just described where you're like a soup of everybody else plus you, that means you have, you do not have strong energy boundaries. <laughs> you know, that means you have problems with your energy boundaries. And, you know, just to put it into perspective, most people have energy boundary issues it's just some more than others. <laughs> but uh, it is very workable, I promise. Uh, you would just have to, you know, forgive yourself and just kind of acknowledge, okay, you know, I think I have some boundary issues that I need to work on. And then, you know, hopefully these videos and the other videos I have can uh, give you some, some homework to do that would be constructive and helpful in, in that goal. Uh, so, symptoms of having really strong energy boundaries would be, uh, let's see, possible, if, if somebody has strong energy boundaries, they would be able to focus on, a, on an issue and not get distracted all the time, right? If somebody has, uh, like for example, in baseball, which I do not know a lot about sports, <laughs> but in baseball, there's a closing pitcher, right? Called the closer, I guess, <laughs> I think. <laughs> and the closing pitcher has great energy boundaries. So, you know, the other team, the other team's fans, they all want this guy to choke and do a terrible job, but he is known for having that focus and consistency under pressure. And that is because he has very strong energy boundaries. So all that sort of competitive energy that's being aimed at him from the other side, it doesn't get in his face. It doesn't ruffle his feathers. He just, he's consistent and, you know, he's the most consistent person they have, which is how he's the closing pitcher. Um, okay, so forgive me if, you know, I messed up the sports imagery there, but <laughs> that's the main idea. So you can be like a closing pitcher, you know, <laughs> in your life. So that even if a coworker is mad at you, or even if, uh, I don't know, some friend of yours is a little uh, maybe manipulative or whiny or codependent or something, <laughs> you know, you can develop strong energy boundaries so that those people are not affecting you and you can still get done what you need to get done and you can still take care of yourself and remember what you need and sort of have a healthy balance between the needs of, of yourself and the needs of your loved ones. Okay? So it does not mean that you then become a narcissist and you don't give a shit about anybody ever and, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's something different. Okay? What this means is that you still have compassion for your fellow human being, <laughs> you know, you still, uh, you still understand that you are not better than others, um, but you don't let collective pain or individual pain of others weigh you down, okay? So that, you know, say your best friend is having a bad time period, 
you know, you can feel compassion for that person uh, and use your intuition and your knowledge of that person to figure out how you can assist your friend. But you are not also going to have a terrible time period just because because you have strong boundaries with their pain, and so their pain is not running and circulating through your energy field. Okay? So a lot of people that I work with, um, I help them to have stronger energy boundaries. You know, it could be that they have weak energy boundaries with their coworkers, or their boss, or their family members, or their ex-husband or wife, or, you know, whatever, their neighbor, <laughs> you know, whoever or their current spouse, or their current best friend. You know, a lot of people uh, get surprised when I read, you know, like, okay, well, you have energy boundary problems. Well, you know, you have weak energy boundaries with your mother, you know, and they're like, oh, that's so hard to believe. My mother's my best friend. She's wonderful, <laughs> you know, and then come to find out that the client can't make a decision to save their lives and they always go to their mother for advice and they basically do what the mother suggests all the time. <laughs> You know, that would be a boundary problem, you know? Um, just because somebody in your life is wonderful and fabulous and kind and, and just great, you still have your own mind. You still have your own unique life force. You have your own unique physical body. You have your own unique spiritual path. And so the more well you are, the stronger boundaries that you have with everybody in your life, uh, the more you are able to be well and feel more confident and more um, self-love and more uh, courage uh, to feel more comfortable in your own skin. And you are able to create... Um, more of a consistent sense that you're moving forward uh, versus like, you know, huge swings, you know, good days, bad days, good days, bad days, bam, bam, up and down, up and down. You know, most people that are up and down like that, they have weak energy boundaries. And so maybe their boss whacks them one day. So they have a bad day because their space is like split in two. <laughs> you know? I'm sorry. I mean, I know that is not technically funny, but you know, it's just the image of somebody like torn in half like a piece of paper. It's not really that literal, you know, but it really makes a difference. Like, say your boss has re issues with her repressed anger, you know, I mean, you could be doing really good work and you could be respectful of that person. But still, you know, maybe you remind them of their sister and they hate their sister. <laughs> you know? So whatever you do, it's really not good enough. And she whacks you, you know, she throws energy at you, you know. So short of quitting tomorrow, you know, what can you do about that? You know, and, and generally angels do not recommend the whole sudden quitting thing. <laughs> you know, just FYI. Yeah, everybody's different. Every situation is different. But the vast majority of people I've read, their angels are always like, no, you cannot quit tomorrow. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's just the basic concept. Uh, so in a nutshell, if you have strong energy boundaries with other people, you're able to keep your energy for yourself, uh, let other people live their lives, and go about living your life. And you're able to work on yourself and have... Uh, a consistent sense of your own progress. Okay, so you're basically the best you can be <laughs> if you have strong energy boundaries. Um, so I hope that makes sense. And uh, in my next video, I will, uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, <laughs> in my next video about having your space and having strong energy boundaries, I'll be getting a little bit more in detail about the ingredients of what it takes to have stronger energy boundaries, okay? Bye.